Hey guys, Pop1025 here, playing KSP once again. Today, I'll be launching Messenger to Moho. So yeah, let's go. We have a liftoff of Messenger. Check the ascent path. I guess that should work. Just don't flip out, please. Please, data, data. Delta, you're not flipping out. Now, I've never launched this into orbit before, so. Good. There we go. Now we have the airlit boosters firing nicely. Let's see, we have the Vernier. Vernier, it's actually Vernier. Oh, they actually move. Yeah, the boosters. We're about to ditch the. We're about to dump the boosters. Also, I do believe they have a bigger nozzle because that produces a the airlift booster. Yeah, they have more. Um, they have more. They have better. Um, they're more efficient because what? I didn't nozzle, but I think they have less thrust or something. Good. So we'll be taking the small hole. And later on, yeah, like, hey, messenger buddy. Later on, we'll ditch the. You can see I have, we have a Pam D up there, which is what the real one used. So you can see here. Uh -huh. That's really good. Uh, uh. That's a weird thing. That engine usually I don't believe gimbals. No gimbals. Herbert Info. Okay, we'll. I hope burn out before then because we want to ditch this thing while we're still in the Atmo. Oh yeah, no need to worry. There we go. And... Why did the... Oh, they did the couple in there. Oh, these buggers did the couple. Huh, did they? Did not the couple. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Maybe if I give it a bit of a spin up or something. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah. It didn't seem to the couple properly. But if even if it didn't we can still use it because time acceleration. Oh, it's magic properties. <laughs> I unsidentified. Yeah, I'll check the map. Or for 80. How close are we to that? Okay. 82. Well, do. There we go. You can see, this is a rather efficient engine, but not a powerful one. Check it out, I'm astonished. No staging. It would seem. That's okay. Bear for main engine ignition. How much data we does this thing have? Oh, yeah, it has enough to put us into orbit. Just thrust the moon. That Aerojet engine has a quite a low TWR, I believe. It's TWR um, 0.52. Yep. It doesn't provide you much lifting power, let's just call it that. I think for now we'll just um, schedule a burn to just get us out of Kerbin and ditch that. So messenger itself has an engine. It has some solar panels that I don't believe rotate. Because this is a... It's going to be operating at Mercury so you can see it's not... It doesn't need to have access to as much electricity. It doesn't need as much power. And solar panels don't need to be as efficient. Right? I know what I'm talking about. You know, the fangs don't really work, but that is. But since this is an amazing mod, I think I can excuse that. What's a periaps? Just 
We won't fall back. That's all I really need to know. We're not going to fall back. So not which way is Copen orbiting. I might as well just say, yep, good for you. Smart DSS, prograde. And vent that tiny, tiny bit of fuel. There you go. And now... Ditch. Good, now time accelerate. Until messenger is out of there. Messenger is out of there. Good, force... They use yeah. force roll to zero. Map, just... <sighs> yeah, you can see this is a... Not quite a... An engine with a lot of thrust. Oh, hold on, is that an RCS? No, oh, okay, I thought that was an RCS at the end of that. You can see where our, our Apple Ops is slowly being boosted up. I need to bring up the Delta V stats just for. No, not Delta V. Oh, huh, that's a lot less Delta V than it should have. But I know this also has Delta V. It just doesn't need to tell us that. I mean, I need orbit info right now. And of course, we still need to get this sucker to Moho. See, that's... Oh no, they do turn, okay. Let's pull them back in. Have it tucked in nicely. Yep, we're zipping on out. We've left that stage far behind us. Again, I need to cut the engine. So let's see, um... Two million kilometers... Two... Yeah, I think that's what it is. We're going up. So there's a bit slow. Four, five, no, no, over the period. Keep an eye on that. I'm supposed to go crazy. There we go, that means we're free. Now, just to keep us safe, we'll extend. See, that's our kind of radiator somewhere right there. Warp helper SLI transition warp. And the tank accelerating. Out of curb in the sphere of influence. See, we have sensor right here. Now, about to leave curb in sphere of influence. Set my head as our target. There you are. Now, which is the next one? It's the ascending node. So, maneuver. Runner. Oh, it's my JSS. Okay, maneuver planner. I thought that was electric charge for a second. Um, match planes with target. Same, create node. Get out of warp. Now, there it is. RCS on this. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, node. There we go. Keeping an eye on that. And warp. Top or two. Uh, give us. Seconds warp. No. Watch as this spacecraft rotates. Of course, the panels follow. Just watch. See, our electric charge will drop. Of course, it follows it. Ding, 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 ding. ding. And then it switches over, it rotates around. It keeps doing it. And what do you mean blocked? <laughs> and what do you mean blocked? This instant panic as it tells me I have no electric charge. Oh yeah, that, that might be a thing. What I should worry about is getting this thing. And I will still have to flip. 
Yep. Well, almost there were four days out. Two days. One day. Four, three, two. Two hours. One hour and a half. One hour. Thirty minutes. Back to drop out of warp. Fifteen. I will ignite that straight away because we have 7.77. That's how much LV? Total LV. Huh. Alright. Okay. We'll burn through that instantaneously almost. Okay. And. Boom. Boom. There we go. Top over. So create node. Hold on, really? Node. Sorry, hold on. Is that reversed? Yes, it is. So point um, I still get control from here. I see this. Let's put it in the vector. That's roughly the way we have to point anyway. There's a Mac Tribune up. There's also phasing backwards. Don't tell me we don't have a point out to be. Oh, we do. Good. Good things we have minus that to be because, you know, the engines are reversed. Yep, that booster is gone. Payless, this module D is gone. Oh, surprising how the, the engine is at the center of this all. Oh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Drop out of what that means, I'll just go kind of just uh, there. Keep in my. Prepare for main engine cut off. Okay, it pops. My app is saying I quit. Fifteen, forty, thirty. There we go. Now, home on. Transfer to target. Seven minute burn, so seven minutes, six seconds, three minutes, three minutes, thirty three seconds. So, what? So, one. Interesting. I hope that will give this enough time to get itself oriented and me enough time to fire the engines. I think that actually is a heat shield sign to keep pointed at the sun. So this won't heat her up. See? The people are not so smart. That's reset. Not nearly enough. So I might have to use it again for food sheets. But hey, that's not my fault. We have to lug around the extra weight of the fairings. And apparently it was insufficient. Blame the rocket. It get us to orbit rather quickly. 
Oh, no, you don't want to put propane. That's retrograde. And burning. We'll be here for a while. So, uh -uh. Alright. There we go. Just keep burning. Just keep burning. Okay. We're slowing right there. Don't get new horizons built and see if it has enough delta V in, to, in theory, get to Pluto. Of course, new horizons stuff has no engines. Of course, the real one is the Jupiter flyby, but. Of course, KSP doesn't work like that. Flyways are very difficult to predict. And things like that. Unless well, I supercomputers, I have this computer and I can. and mech jump, maybe. Mech jump. That should be a thing out of. Get a, you know, get a gravity as this calculator. Right, we have three minutes or so left in the burn. We should be at this point right now. Huh. I might have misjudged this slightly, but. Oh, we've passed the orbit of Eve. What's that? That's President Magellan. That's Magellan right there. And I've got a little right there. There's Voyager heading off into the great unknown. And we have one minute. So ding ding to produce that. I'm getting ready to cut off the to cut the engines. Okay, is dropping. Once we reach 30 seconds on, I'll we'll drop out of work. Right. You can see our periaps is almost dropped to that point. So I'm going to throw it back to make sure we don't mess it. Come on. Two seconds to throw it way back. There we go. There we go. Oh, good thing that didn't change it all much, so. Let's see if we can see Moho. I should be coming up from that direction since we're flying. Moho's going faster than us. I should leave it to us and Kerbal. Oh, wait, is it a, no, because that would be more catching up to it. It's supposed to be catching up to us. Also, we have a point to take up this being so. Yeah, that I'm. Mo is definitely. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Moho. Little Heidi Git. <coughs> We're just about to enter Moho's sphere of influence. Look, we entered. <coughs> and there we go. Hello, my head. Orbit from my orbit. Oh great! <laughs> oh great! He might have just lost the mission. Boom. Just wait. And you can see we have our antenna there. See that's still pointing somewhat towards the sun. Keep burning. You have to kill off a lot of velocity to get into orbit. Uh 
kind of good from a few points to him. Um, yeah, we're roughly curbing escape velocity. Well, I see the orbit starting to curve. That's a good way to judge him. Um, wow, we. S if that is anything to go by, we'll be burning for a while. That would be mainly just randomly said. Yep. Yeah, blocked by edge of screen. Obviously, be in orbit by 40 minutes. So. That's a good thing. The the apple, the um, escape is getting further and further away. Of course, the it's my first time I've gotten to Mars somewhat legitimately. So I have to use the cheats, but that's still not as bad as you know just using all our cheats, like using cheats all the way. Yep. Almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Something is these start matching. Oh, no, I'm confused. I'm officially confused. Am I losing patience somewhat? No, at least once we're in the whole orbit, I can. I know exactly you know, how far to drop below and things like that. Oh, wow. This is. We're still on the escape trajectory. With this speed, we'd be hurtling down towards Kirby. This is easily suborbital velocities. Like very. Very suborbital velocities. Well, I am. Or higher up, so. Look at the level of. Oh yeah, there we go. We have four hours until escape, so that gives us plenty of time if anything. Not plenty of time, but it gives us time to do something. Let's see. Oh yes, our orbit is really curving now. And our orbit is about to connect. Yep. I'm going to use this maneuver to also drop our uh, Double periapsis. Or perimal. Perimal, I don't even know. I'm just guessing this stage. It ups down to about 70 kilometers over my surface. That'll do. We're going to kind of circularize at the next periaps. That's what we want. Crank node. And then point to prograde. Yep, because we. Yep. Mm -hmm. How long will burn be? 44 seconds. Really? Only for 20, for 30 seconds. Before the maneuver nude. And we'll get up the drop. And watch as we plunge down towards more. Oh. Ding. Moho's tightly locked, isn't it? I thought that was a thing that Momo was not tightly locked anymore. Yeah, yeah, Momo is fairly tightly locked to me. Turn four. Turn four throw off that. Alright, and... Forty seconds cut off. No. And boot. No. We're hiding. Okay. Wait, that looks like it. Like it has a hat. No, no, okay. 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 Uh, yeah. I'm hiding. <laughs> Almost in orbit. We could, we could actually drop her, drop her orbit even further. I, mean, I was just guessing at that point, so we do some further low mo passes. 
Oh, we will have to be a lot more careful there. Twenty. I don't know how long that thing goes. Twenty. Thirty seconds to perhaps this warp. Let's look at the dark side of Maha. And see as we zip by. Don't. Okay, don't go. Almost there. Oh yeah, this is because we can't warp any faster. Yeah, it really shows how size different, how um, scale really differs in space. Approaching periapsis. Marshal pads, marsh pads. Right, get ready to fire the engines. Engines. No, no, engines. Um, okay, guys. Uh, Messenger is in orbit around Moho. I'm Boston25. Goodbye.